Hey guys, Crew Blind Wave back. I'm Aaron. I'm Calvin. Rick. Eric. And we are here with some Game Award announcements. This is actually the last one that uh, we're watching out of everything, and we don't know what it is. This is another one of those surprise ones for us. Okay. And uh, I know what this one is. <gasps> you okay. know what it is? And I've seen it. Rick knows and has seen this one, so <laughs> that's, that's where we're at on that. Um, we've had several of these that we've already watched, so make sure if you guys want to see, if you haven't seen something, it's somewhere here on the channel. Or maybe it's still coming up, depending on how these all went up on the channel. So, um, Rick, scale 1 to 10, how excited am I going to be? <laughs> the Solar Eclipse? Ten. Ooh, Lucasfilm. Ten. What is it? What is this? What's the eclipse? Oh, don't know anything. Okay, different music for what must be Star Wars. Why is there an eclipse and a gong or a drum? Gong. I heard about this. Oh. I don't recognize this ship. Whoa. Dude, that looks really good, doesn't it? Imbo! Yeah, I Not with Imbo. No. <laughs> it's his hat, though. Huh? Huh. New era, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Whoa! That is beautiful. Yo. Oh, what? Ooh. The council. You think this is High Republic? Maybe. Okay. A little fan of Protocol right. droid. The eclipse. It looked like. Oh no. It was Ooh, okay. Ooh. High Republic. It's definitely gonna be High Republic. Sweet High Republic video game. Whoa! That's Naboo. That's Naboo Starfighter sweet. down there. It's all I remember. Or all I recognize. <laughs> like oh, what are the ships? The Modians. Who are they fighting? Are they the Tau or something? I don't know who they are. Zygerians? Are they the slavers from Clone Wars? I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe. Whoa, Trade Whoa, Federation, Luke what's this? It's a different style, too. Maybe it's older? Dude, this looks so good! It looks amazing! It looks incredible. Who is drumming? Okay, so hurts. there's like a two-pronged What are the ships? Ships. Who are you? It's like a lot of here. What the? Is there like a vampire in here or something? I don't know. Who are you? What's with the eclipse? Star Wars eclipse. Because it's called eclipse! <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, look at that logo. I have so many questions. Quantic, Quantic Dream. Dream. Oh. Quantic they, uh, Dream. Did the, uh, the android. Detroit. De Right. Stop thing. Detroit become human. Oh, mm -hmm. is that why it looks like it looks so good? But I guess it would might make more sense if it's more of a cinematic storytelling yeah. experience rather than being like a gameplay gameplay. Yeah, thing. like a gameplay thing. You know, like Jedi Fallen Order. I, th I think it looks pretty good. But sure. when you compare it to some of the cinematic storytelling things, you can have it be exactly what you want it to be. Yeah. And it's yeah. much yeah, more. Yeah, you, like, you know exactly where the camera's going to be at all yeah, times. Yeah, you can have the the it all exactly looks how the lighting is going to be. So, I can only guess High Republic because the only thing I really recognize was Yoda, and Yoda's been sure. around for about nine hundred years. He's been around for a long time. Uh, but um, nothing else. I, I recognize nothing else, especially the battles here. There's those are all new designs. So whoever we're fighting. Or we. Whoever is being well, yeah. is doing the fighting is... Well, like, I recognize the Trade Federation ship. Well, sure, the Lucre yeah, Hall might not... That's just what they use, though. It, it could be used by the people from before. It's a droid control ship. They right? buy a bunch of their stuff, but it, while it has the shape of it, it's not the exact model that we're familiar with. There is some different stuff. Everything kind of has well, that sure. kind of familiar. But I don't know who these drummer guys are or who that... Uh, that the guy coming out of the black goo it, is. He looked like one of the drummers. But I don't know yeah. why that's significant. Very different sound to this Star Wars trailer. Yeah, you never get that type of music, that type of you know. Sure, it it's like the heavy drums yeah. and stuff. And it's you not want so... you know Star Wars John Williams ish music is that's the oxygen of Star Wars. So if you go away from that, it can be 
difficult, I feel like. But then you have stuff like mm. The Who and Jedi Fallen Order, and oh, it's different. It's it fucking good. amazing. Or The Mandalorian, you know, yeah. a different style, too. Mm-hmm. But uh, all of this stuff is like, I don't Yeah, I, I don't know what the city is. I here. can't. That's not a Mandalorian, right? I, I mean, don't I think so. Uh, like, later on, you see him better. So we're at like, 42 seconds right now. If you go a little further, you see the guards walking through, like, the, the town. We yeah. can see a little easier of what it looks like, but like I don't recognize no. what this place is unless it. No. There are ships up uh, up here. Um, we're at forty six seconds with these three engines and this kind of balker right here. Those really look like uh, corvettes that we've seen in prequels, and this especially looks like the Druidian Valley that Anakin and Padme take to. I was gonna uh, say, it looks like the yeah, transport. Yeah. Ship it looks like the shuttles used. on course. Look at this! Look at this! Look at this three eyed monkey three-eyed birds. Monkey. We got a Rodian right here. It looks like a Pokemon. It does. It's beautiful though. It's like the, a, the aliens look especially gorgeous. It's like a gorgeous. gorgeous. It look like, like that look guy looks great. He looks like Radis from Rogue One. But look at these troopers back here. Yeah. It's blue the helmet guards. It, it's also yeah. It, it's much of why like what Eric was saying too. I agree with of like I feel like I recognize very little. Which is exciting because the last time this happened was Knights of the Republic. Sure. Right? <laughs> yeah. So like it has to be High Republic. Yeah. I don't think they haven't talked about anything about old Republic stuff. So I imagine they're if you start pushing games for High yeah. Republic, they have books coming out. It's starting to feed like feed yeah. that world in that time era. You know, we should be semi comprehensive and maybe see if they released anything. Oh look, uh, extra. Because sometimes that happens, and all the questions that we have, people are like, they answered that like right after the trailer. You guys didn't watch it or something like that. So. We can we can look, but I, I'm still on deep dive. I mean, I thought this was this guy in the metal like manhole hat was gonna be. Oh, is this gonna be our hero? Because he's got like a poncho and a cape and a hat. That's hero. <laughs> That's hero. <laughs> That's hero material. Seconds. Yeah. But no, it's just uh, coloring the world. Um, see, like here's these guards again, but I think they have the masks that we were seeing yeah, a little bit no, ago. Yeah, you're right. Like from the back, I thought. Yeah, they right there been is, is the. Um, Mon Cal? Mon Cal. Mon Cal, yeah. yeah. We have a Doros right yeah. here. Kind of like Cad Bane, but not. Well, I mean, he's a Doros. He is a Doros. I mean, he's kind of like Cad Bane because he's a Doros. I, I, <laughs> for just making sure we try to leave no fan behind when I. Like, sometimes I'll say, like, a species and then want to give an example of them. You know. Yeah. Uh, the newest adventure in the High Republic era. High Republic, all right. Action adventure. It's going to have a lot more action than their games normally have. Okay. Interesting, okay. That's that's. I mean, it's Star Wars. You have to have something, but yeah. I well, like, also, how do you do a lightsaber fight? You know, like true. I feel like you gotta. That's, yeah. a, that's a big part. They showed lightsaber fights at one point. They did. After these guys are done drumming. I wonder what our this here. shot is gorgeous. I love these three like uh, spires. We're at know? one minute. Yeah, this shot is absolutely gorgeous. With the speeder going across. Yeah, the lake. And I don't. I, I'm not sure what that creature is, no. but it looks cool. It looks like familiar but different. You know. Mm-hmm. It's like some kind of hyena giraffe thing. <laughs> yeah. In the uh, Gendi Clone Wars series, Yoda rides this kind of like goat-like thing that looks a lot like that, but I don't know if it's the same or not. I've got some stuff from the official site here that's kind of interesting. Okay. Said during the High Republic era, Star Wars Eclipse is an intricately branching action-adventure game that can be experienced in many ways. Branching, cool. Well, well all of Quantic Dreams yeah. usually have a, you mm-hmm. make your decisions and stuff, and it branches out, what if that and means... you'll have very different, like, you might have people just be dead, yeah. and they don't get an ending story because they're dead. Usually in Star Wars, that means that there will be a canon version, and then you'll have the branching thing, so... Um, that puts the destinies of multiple playable characters in your hands. Multiple playable characters. Created in collaboration between Quantic yeah. Dream and Lucasfilm Games. Which, mm-hmm. that's another thing I was anticipating, because exactly like Detroit Become Human, yep. is you play like four characters over the course of the game. Gotcha. And you're making decisions for them. So that's why I was saying, like, and, and even uh, like Heavy Rain, you didn't just play mm-hmm. one person either. Yeah. So mm-hmm. as you played through, you could have people dead, you could have them have a happy ending, a sad ending, like all kinds of different choices. So, I mean, you might play. Like, say you play four people, you might play two good guys and two bad guys, you know? Like, you might play both sides of the story a little bit to be yeah. able to see what all's happening. And it, it could be... It, it's sometimes interesting what they yeah. do with uh, some of their story beats. Weave a tapestry of interlaced destiny and see the galaxy through the eyes of an ensemble of multiple charismatic playable characters, each with their own personality, motivations, and impact upon each other in the story at large. Compose an original Star Wars story with all new characters and environments. You have the power to make choices with consequences thanks to many outcomes in this deeply branching narrative. Shape your fate in the Outer Rim. 
in an uncharted section of the galaxy with never before seen species and plants to discover, gotcha. this Makes part sense. of the outer rim is rife with opportunity, political tensions that could alter the fabric of peace. Nice. So I mean, we're in a really interesting time period, with, <clears throat> but we're not like focusing on things that have already been. An area focused. we don't know. Yeah. In a time frame that we don't really where know. stuff like this, I feel like uh, thrives because it's sure. not about like, well, actually, you can't do that. Cause it's, sure, you have freedom. Yeah, mm-hmm. and like, like I mean, Yoda on Coruscant in the Jedi Temple. Yeah, like that's the only thing that really looks familiar. Yeah, High everything. Republic you know? is two hundred years or so before uh, Episode One, so Yoda's seven hundred. But obviously, he's still the. Uh, I mean, this is Yoda's chair on the council, so I wonder if he is Grand Master at this point or not. I'm not sure. Like, has he gotten that yet? Will we see a yeah. different Grand Master? At the very master? least, I would say that he is on the council at least. Or I mean, he's yeah. 700 years old. <laughs> how, how is he not Grand Master? Well, already. <laughs> it could be interesting if he's like, you know, like he's like the Mace Windu to yeah. whoever is the Grand Master. Sure. You know, like Mace Windu felt like second in command. Yeah. So it'd be interesting to see something like that. Be cool to have uh, Master Sunube. Yeah. From the Clone Wars, that old Jedi Master. Yeah. Uh, I gotta say, I mean, this probably, probably the most just because it's so familiar, like that just feels like... From the movie. uh, Looks like a prequel shot. I mean, we can't understate how gorgeous this looked. It's a cinematic, and Star Wars has always done great cinematics, I feel like, but this especially uh, blew me out of the water. (laughs) But see, the thing, too, is like, with with the Quantic Dream doing it, it's hard for me to tell yeah. if it is like, is any of this gonna be gameplay? Sure, I get you. Because sometimes they do have some of this kind of stuff, you know? Yeah. So yeah. these red cloaked people here, I feel like there were. At 106. Yeah, at 106. I feel like that there were. Uh, that's Rogue One, uh, Jedi. Like a couple of the. There's a couple of different like Force Tradition churches on Jedi. I think that there were. Some guys that look like this, either on Jedi or on the Ring of Kafreen, but I can't remember exactly. But again, I mean, I just, I'm trying to grasp at straws. <laughs> Though I do see, it might not matter, this guy back here with that same hat, is that the same character that we saw I mean, already? You have, looks, a, you have another hat right there to the yeah, right. Yeah, there's one right yeah, over no, there. You're right, never mind. So, I was, just, I'm trying to pick up, like, okay, who are our characters? It's probably, will, like, the straw hats will, of this universe. Yeah, yeah. Like, will the Duros be our character? One of the Jedi be our character? Will Yoda be one of our characters? Uh, who and, are the characters? Well, they said, control? like, political stuff, so I imagine yeah. maybe someone on the council or dealing with the council. Yeah. Or a droid. Sure. Probably not Yoda, though. Probably not. Uh, protocol droid here with no coverings. What do you mean, Naked. My pots are showing. I wonder what the eclipse is about. Like the eclipse, yeah, and the drummers. And like, the drummers. It, I mean, it feels like they're drumming because of a ritual for the eclipse, right? That's yeah, what it felt like to that's me. what it feels like. So, is it supposed to be? Is it like a end of the world event on one planet, or is it like a galactic war that's brewing? Yeah. And well, or is it a powering or a summoning or a rite of passage or something like that with the person coming out of that stuff? Icar. I don't even know what it was. You know, yeah. It seems to me like Jedi training with each other, not necessarily fighting each other. Yeah, oh, yeah. I would imagine maybe. But Probably. Gorgeous, looks great. Like the sparks on on contact, and unless one's turning. Uh, this is cool. So here, one twenty. At one twenty, it looks like a Naboo starship here. <laughs> That's uh, crashed. Yeah, I can see what you know you're what I'm saying. Yeah definitely. Yeah. yeah, definitely. So I'm gonna say we're getting little tiny things in here, but I really like this. This kind of reminds me, Aaron, of the. Uh, the pirate boat from Resistance. I mean, a bit. yeah, Naboo yeah. is a whole planet. It is. So it's easy. It's conceivable yeah. that this is an area we have not seen on Naboo. Yeah, yeah. More drumming. Um, I don't even know what this race is either. You know, me species either. is so different. Well, they said that there's a lot of new ones. Yeah, like specifically sure. developed for I mean, this. There's a few familiar ones. You have the Duros, Nemoidians uh, here. At Just 1. look 29. at look at his clothes. Yeah, it looks fantastic. It does. It's crazy. Like some of these shots, if you show, like, hey guys, the next movie of Star Wars yeah. they're working on, here's uh, some stuff from it, I'd be like, yeah, okay, I believe you, you know? <laughs> could these be Tal or something else, you think? Tal's? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I could see. Like, uh, I can just see white fuzz. You well, know? no, you think of that Clone Wars episode where they. A little, yeah, bit, them, a little yeah. bit of that, you know? Curve hilt and stuff, too. Yeah. The High Republic Jedi have kind of. There's been like a lot of like headgear that I've seen in official artwork and book covers and stuff. Though I admittedly haven't read any High Republic stuff yet. I've been saving it so that when inevitably we can get like a Star Wars podcast going, we can discover those things uh, with you, the viewer. Together. Yeah. Um, yeah. These soldiers look amazing in their military in the background. Uh, this the shape of their helmets and 
I can't tell it, if they're like cat like, but I thought of the Zygerian slavers from the Clone Wars. If sure. They, it's kind of hard to tell because the nose is covered, but it kind of looks like the the drummers a little too. Well, the nose well, feels down here where the drummers yeah. has up here. They they had like like you can see like nostrils here and it looks like yeah. a nose nose whereas yeah. they look like Voldemort with two holes way up here by yeah. by their eyeballs. Um, plus I don't see any room for any ears. The uh Zy, Zygar, Zygerian. Zygerians. Zygerians. They they kind of have like those pointy up top right with like their hair or head yeah. or whatever a little bit. They I don't know, do. Maybe it could be them but I don't I that's, I'm just grasping at straws because I, I do know. like their outfits though because it feels Star Warsy, but yeah. it also looks different you know so this Lucre Hulk it's slightly different like some of these attachments and these fins and stuff isn't the same as uh, from like Star Wars Episode 1 so this could just be like an older version of the Lucre Hulk yeah um, what's curious though is that these new starships here like they have like this kind of like forward two point Thing, and yeah, we'll see some. Wings. We'll see capital ships coming up that have the same. So I'm assuming they just designed like a whole new like. They it's like look back here. There's uh, the uh, the tra Trade Federation lander as well. Yeah. yeah. So this very well could just be the Trade Federation with older materials. They remind me the ships attacking the Lucre Hulk of the uh, the old V wings on Rogue Squadron. Yeah. Like bit. they kind of have that same kind mm -hmm. of look to them. Uh, not quite as forward for the wings. Well, yeah, I mean, you can see these capital ships have the same two-prong forward uh, design, I suppose, so. I would imagine that those and maybe these other ships are perhaps from that army. Yeah. Um, some of the coloring and stuff of, like, these ships kind of remind me of the, whatever the tanky things they had with their army marching. Mm -hmm. Kind of reminds me of those a little bit, so we could have kind of, like, those guys in the Trade Federation are at odds or something. Yeah. I'm going to guess these white ships, we're at uh, about 155. These white ships come in 157. They look like they could be like a proto version of a Jedi Starfighter because they yeah. seem to have the hyperspace ring. Sure. And maybe they're kind of like maybe they're not Delta Seven ships like Obi Wan. They have that triangle-ish shape, you know, yeah. which reminds me of uh, Adi Gallia in the yeah. Jedi Starfighter games. And then later on, they kind of like lose a little bit of that mm -hmm. triangle-y shape and stuff. But, but yeah, the, the hyperspace ring, I think that could be a, maybe a Jedi Starfighter or something. Like maybe in these versions, they don't detach. And that's maybe. like a future thing sure. they do is where they can detach yeah. them and stuff. Because you generally, when they would go into a battle, they would leave the ring somewhere else. Yeah. So maybe that is like that is their ring. That's how they do it, but it, they don't disconnect. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I don't recognize anything about these guys. I mean, no. the markings, like the, the paint on the shoulders. They feel very tribal. They do. They remind me of, again, in the Gendi Teriyaki uh, Clone Wars, Anakin at one point like is on a planet and gets something like that. It'd be really cool if this is kind of a, and I, I love when they do it and when they add more, because I feel like it adds more to the lore, but if this is kind of a force ritual but in a different... Culture. Yeah. yeah. like Because I love when they toss in the ideas of like the force the is sisters. everywhere, but they use it differently in different yeah. places. And sometimes they don't realize it's a force. Yeah. Sometimes it's just a religion. Sometimes it's like they think it's, you know, yeah, the, a, a god or something. That's Nature doing spirits. It. Yeah. yeah, something like that. And I love when they do that. And having this with, like, new species especially, you could kind of toss in some elements like that too. I think it's going to be great because the High Republic, I think that it's been received differently by different parts of the fandom. But with this, this only going to drive more people to the – comic books sure. and, and books that have come out so far and uh, the uh, the Star Wars show that's going to be coming out yeah. on Disney Plus like especially with Acolyte. the success of uh, Jedi Fallen Order I feel Definitely. like that's going to get people a lot more interested in mm -hmm. Star Wars games like do we have elements of characters from the High Republic books mm -hmm. coming into here or do they cross over where like maybe you don't play any of them sure. but maybe you see some of them or something yeah. too so now you have crossover and stuff and I love the crossover what they've done in a lot of Star Wars already but doing that in the High Republic era because once you start getting introduced to some characters, like get a little bit of crossover. That way, things keeps feeling familiar a little bit. You, know, yeah. like, you don't want to have too much because then it's like, well, it's just so coincidental mm -hmm. that this gigantic universe and <laughs> everyone's always in the same spots. You yeah. know, so like it makes but, sense. So like, well, this Jedi was sent on this mission by Yoda, maybe you know, and you saw them in this High Republic book. Definitely, and it, it's also a great spot. Stuff like this, Fallen Order was like this. I felt like a little bit too, but. Sometimes, especially newer fans or maybe fans that haven't jumped into the huge amount of stuff there is when it comes to Star Wars, might be like, I haven't watched this, I haven't caught up to this, I haven't watched that TV show, so I'm probably not ready for this. You can just tell people, no, start this one. 
Sure. It's you don't need to know spot. what the Skywalker saga yeah. is. You don't have to follow all that. Yeah. This is not going to be tied to any of that, yeah. I'm sure, you know? Yeah. But it could add some interesting story beats, I think, at the very least, yep. to the Force. Okay. Yeah. Which then could, like, add maybe even more to what occurs later on in those Yeah, stories. I mean, they, they might talk about, like, the prophecy of the balance of the Force. Mm-hmm. Sure. Here. Yeah, maybe we get to see where that prophecy comes from, you yep. know? Like, that prophecy could have been created a long time ago. And then, like, we get to see that, but, like, what's it mean? When's yeah. it going to happen? And then, like, do you mean the prophecy? It's like, oh, that's how it ties in, you know? It's just a drunk guy in the bar. <laughs> there will be one to destroy the Sith and bring balance the Force. Yoda's like, <laughs> Sounds good to me. Miss Red could be. All right, well, that's uh, that's exciting. I did not expect that. That was 100% a surprise. And, uh, yeah, Star Wars Eclipse with hmm. not actual gameplay and no date. Yeah, it's still a long ways out from what I read. Wow. So. Hmm. Well, at least we got a little glimpse of it, and it uh, just gives me more hope of, like, some good Star Wars games coming. Um, yeah. I, you know, this movie working on Jedi Fallen Order 2. Yeah. Um, there's also, like, that Bounty Hunter game. Or whatever it was, right? Yeah, Hunters right. or something like that. It's yeah. like an arena game it's like an or something arena like game, that. Yeah. Like there's some different new Star Wars things coming out mm-hmm. rather than just the remakes of everything too. Because they've Which, remade and re-released some different things and they're working on... KOTOR. KOTOR. So KOTOR. A lot of cool things. So I'm yeah. excited for new Star Wars stuff. And then the Sator just recently pushed back their expansion. supposed to be coming out in February. Mm-hmm. So Pushback is coming out later. Okay. It's supposed to come out this month, but they're coming out in February now. Gotcha, so. okay. But uh, and that one is less tied to canon and stuff. But it's also in the Old Republic era, so I could pretend it is, I guess. You could. Exciting times. Think fast. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for watching this reaction to uh, Star Wars Eclipse uh, cinematic trailer. We had a lot of fun with this. We have a lot of fun talking about Star Wars. We talk about Star Wars every single week with Star Wars to Clone Wars. Um, Rebels. And Rebels. I'm sorry. Yeah, Rebels, which you can go watch all the Clone Wars. But Rebels and a whole bunch of other things. Book of Boba coming. Book of Boba coming. Hey, bye-bye. Oh, but come in. Subscribe. Subscribe.